Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Eclipse Vox, setting up dictionaries and importing entries, I'm going to show you how to create all of the dictionaries that you'll need for voice writing with Eclipse Vox, and how to import the entries that are provided to you with your purchase. This step will save you time by ensuring that Eclipse will automatically recognize and correctly interpret and translate all of the voice codes that you've previously trained. This video is based on the training provided in Real-Time Voice Writing, 9th edition for court reporting, written by Betty A. Keyes. I'm in Eclipse, and I have loaded my Eclipse Ashley Vox user, and I'm ready to get started setting up my dictionaries. By default, Eclipse will create a main dictionary for you, if I click on Dictionary or hit F9, you see that I have a dictionary with the same name as my user, ashleyvox.dix. If I open this dictionary, it's empty. However, this empty dictionary is the perfect place for me to import the files that came with my Eclipse Vox purchase. To import entries from the dictionaries that are on the CD I received, I'm going to go to File and Import, and I'm going to hit Browse and I'm going to browse to my USB drive, which is where I have my files saved. I'm going to double click on the cat files folder and on the dictionaries folder. In here, there is a main.dix, and this contains the entries that I want to import into my main dictionary. I'm going to either double click on this or click on it and hit open, and those entries will import into my main dictionary. Now you see that I have 3,087 entries in my main dictionary now. These are all entries that I can use while I'm dictating and they'll help Eclipse format these entries correctly. There are more dictionaries that I need to get set up, however. I'm going to hit Control Q to close out of this dictionary and I'm going to click the dictionary button again and this time I'm going to create a new dictionary. I'm going to call this new dictionary on the fly, so I'll type that name in. And once I have the name typed in, I can press OK, and it'll ask me to create this new dictionary. I'll hit Yes. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to go up to File and Import. I'll hit Browse. And I'm going to go to the USB drive where my files are stored. I'll double click on Cat Files again, and Dictionaries again. And here there's an On The Fly dictionary. I'm going to double click on that, or click on it and hit Open again. And the on-the-fly dictionary is used for custom entries that you can use on the fly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the text from each of these entries. To do that, I'm simply going to double click and hit the delete key and press OK. I'm going to repeat that for the rest of these 15 entries. And what this does, it allows me to use TRAN1 through TRAN15 for custom entries anytime during any job. I can simply come into this dictionary and input the text I'd like to use for this particular job in the text field. That's all that's necessary for the on-the-fly dictionary, so I'm going to hit Control q to close it. And I'm going to create another dictionary. I'll go to Dictionary again. And this dictionary we're going to call Speech Text. Once I'm in the speech text dictionary, I'm going to go to File and Import again. I'll hit Browse, go to my USB drive, Cat Files, Dictionaries, and there is a speechtext.dix file here as well. I'm going to select that and hit Open to import those entries. Once this is done, once all these dictionaries are set up, you're ready to begin dictating. In the next video, I'll do a sample dictation to show you what it's like to write in Eclipse. Thank you so much for watching this video. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24 seven. Technical support can be reached anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772-288-3266. Tech support is available to help with any questions about Eclipse Vox, 
or any of Advantage Software's other great products. Email support is additionally available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.